Okay, good morning. Thank you guys for being patient with us. I am uh, Lieutenant Moore with the City of Henderson Police Department. I'm here to provide an initial briefing of an officer-involved shooting that occurred today that spanned across three jurisdictions, the City of Henderson, Nevada Highway Patrol, and the Las Vegas Metropolitan Police Department jurisdiction. Uh, we'll begin by explaining uh, the details of what occurred. At approximately 5.15 a.m. this morning, uh, Henderson Dispatch received calls that a victim advised that they, their vehicle had been impacted by rounds that was fired from another passenger vehicle. Uh, shortly thereafter, we received an additional call stating that a carjacking had just occurred and the victim in that carjacking had sustained multiple injuries and serious injuries. Uh, we were given a vehicle description. When the initial officer arrived, we encountered uh, that vehicle. When we encountered that vehicle, we identified the suspect vehicle and the person driving as a black female adult. That adult pointed a firearm at the officer, which resulted in an officer-involved shooting. From that point, a vehicle pursuit ensued, which took on to westbound 215. Uh, Trooper Smacker will brief you on the incident that occurred on the 215. Good afternoon. Trooper Smacka, first name Travis, T-R-A-V-I-S, last name Smacka, S-M-A-K-A, Public Information Officer for the Nevada Highway Patrol Southern Command. At that point, the Nevada Highway Patrol, assisting the Henderson Police Department, deployed state troopers on westbound Beltway, just east of Windmill, with stop sticks deployed. The suspect vehicle maneuvered around the stop sticks and entered the dirt shoulder to get around them. We also had stop sticks deployed on westbound Beltway at Windmill with one state trooper out with those stop sticks. As the suspect vehicle approached that state trooper, it appeared as if the suspect pointed their vehicle towards the state trooper while trying to get around the stop sticks and then fired rounds at our state trooper. Our state trooper dove out of the way and returned fire, at which time the suspect vehicle continued westbound on the beltway. Continuing, uh, both Nevada Highway Patrol and Henderson police officers continued the vehicle pursuit, which ultimately came to conclusion in the area of Tropicana and Decatur. Uh, that vehicle driven by the same female ultimately came to rest in that area where an additional officer-involved shooting occurred. Uh, the female suspect did sustain injuries uh, to her hand. It is unknown if those injuries were a result of the rounds being fired or if that injury occurred as a result of the several um, rammings that, it, that took place during this incident. So that's all we have right now. I want to remind everyone that this is a very preliminary investigation. It is constantly evolving as we comb through the evidence and we will provide additional information once we get that information and are able to confirm what occurred. Any questions? So the suspect only sustained same minor injuries to her hand? That is correct. She's in custody, I would assume? The suspect is in custody. Any indication as to what charges she, would, she could or would be facing? Uh, there are multiple charges spanning, of course, multiple jurisdictions, so that, is, uh, that has not been completely determined yet. We will have an additional press release, written press release in the morning with further details and to, to spell it out completely for everybody. For the second shooting, the, well, I don't want to call it a shooting yet, the carjacking. Yes. said that the victim in that sustained some serious injuries. Was it stab wounds? Uh, we don't know if the injuries, what the injuries were sustained from. Right now, we believe from the actual, uh, from the victim ramming either the car or that individual. We're not 100% certain. We're still figuring that out, but that individual did sustain uh, serious injuries and was transported to a local hospital. Were any officers hurt in any way? Uh, no officers were injured during this incident, so we're very fortunate. Thank you. Any indication as to a motivation at this point as to why? At this point, we have no motivation as to what triggered this individual, so that part is still being investigated. Any drug or alcohol suspected? Uh, that we do not know. When it came to a conclusion, did it spill over into this park or any of these businesses that we're seeing behind you? Uh, I'm not 100% certain. I know just where the vehicles came to rest. That's where we took her into custody. Did she stop or was it, did the car just stop? Did she stop or was she? I think we believe it's a combination thereof. Maybe the vehicle was disabled or the person wanted to give up, but we can't confirm that at this moment. Okay. Comment about how, you know, all this uh, activity occurs in many uh, jurisdictions, ramming and all this stuff, but nobody was hurt. Talk about how fortunate the community is that this happened. 
Well, we're very fortunate that it occurred in the early morning hours where there were uh, not as many people active. So we're very fortunate in that regards. Anytime you have an individual willing to utilize a vehicle and a firearm to uh, attack citizens in the community, it's very dangerous for everybody. So we are very fortunate that this incident came to a peaceful resolution and we hope to have it fully investigated as soon as we possibly can. Again, this is involving multiple jurisdictions and fortunately we have a great relationship with all of the uh, jurisdictions involved. So we look to have a very uh, thorough investigation completed as soon as possible. Thank you.